Have you heard the saying, if he cheated with you, he will cheat on you? <laughs> Please believe in. Let me go hit my man with some tada. I'm here. Fear men. Fear them with every single ounce of your body. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nogwazi Ndombela, also known as Gwazi Bear on all social media platforms. Do subscribe, be a part of this family and if you're returning subby, welcome back, darling! Now, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are doing a story time! <laughs> so, we are doing a story time, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment in the comment section if you have any inputs on my story. And yeah, let's get into the story time. So, have you heard the saying, if he cheated with you, he will cheat on you? <laughs> Please believe in. Please believe them, because wow. Anyway, here's the story time. It's many years ago, I am walking Estratene by my hometown, right? And I'm carrying my daughter, ne? Walking, 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 here comes this guy driving this black car. A nice black car, Shapo. He stops, he tries to talk to me. And you know, because he's on the road in the car, we can't really talk properly. So he decides to park the car on the side of the road. He gets out the car and he basically talks to me. I Shap, we have this conversation. He introduces himself. I introduce myself and he asks my daughter's name. And you know, we have a conversation. So he's like, No, can I give you a lift? Where are you walking to? And I'm like, No, I'm good. I don't need a lift I'm almost there and he's like okay let me walk you then and then we walk with him we get to know each other he gets my numbers sharp fast forward a couple of months down the line me and guy are dating <laughs> now guys when they say you should fear men fear men fear them with every single ounce of your body because hello Anyway, we're dating. Um, this guy is a soldier, so I'm gonna call him Soldier Boy for the purpose of this video. Um, so he basically works out of the country most of the time, so he's away for a couple of months, and when he's back, he's back just for a few months, and then he leaves again, right? Shabu, me and Guy are dating. We see each other. He leaves for a couple of months. We're still in communication. Um, he comes back, relationship is flowing. I think this goes on for about a year and a half. Or something like that sharp this one time oh guy is back and every time he was back we would have the time of our lives or Yankees it would be lit so Umu guy was an overspender every time he was back in the country he would spend money like crazy but the crazy thing is that he would spend money on like unnecessary things yes he had a good thing going for him at work and he had his own apartments and everything but he would spend money like on alcohol and all those things and all his friends knew we would see that was the vibe when this guy is back born get you Shapo, we okay so he comes back into the country we hang out a couple of times and um this one day on a wednesday um he calls me and he's like what are you up to i'm like no i'm at home i'm chilling he's like oh, i'm also chilling what are you up to tomorrow i'm like no tomorrow i'm gonna be going to town right oh before that let me just give you a background story as to at the beginning of our relationship we had a little incident with another hun and when I, <laughs> when I asked him about it, he denied it. He even went to the extent of taking me to the girl to, you know, say, you know, this is my person. So I don't know what stories you're telling my person, but this is my person, Sonji. Yeah, well. And Slimamina, I was so happy at the time. It was, oh my gosh, he's telling this girl off. He's telling her that I'm his woman, not knowing that the girl was actually his girl. Yeah, well. So basically, when Sengshanganisi stored, he basically was dating this girl, right? And then started dating me whilst he was with, the, with this girl. And now instead of telling her, was, you know what, things are over, he just didn't do that. Instead, he just dated me. And then when I asked him about the girl, he was just like, let's go to her. And that's how their relationship ended, basically. Sharp, fast forward a couple of years, a year later or something, 
um, he's back in the country and he's asking me where I'm at and I'm like no I'm at home tomorrow what are you up to I'm like ah you know I need to go to town for some quick errands and then I have to be back at home like in a hurry here bro. and he's like oh okay I'm like what are you doing he's like no I'm gonna be at the house well at my flat and I'm gonna be chilling because I need to rest because the weekend is coming and you know once the weekend starts it would be Friday all the way through to Sunday they would be la right Shapo, so Kubogusi on that Wednesday, um, we're talking and okay, the the bottom line is that me and him we're gonna see each other over the weekend. Shap. Thursday comes, guys, and I'm like, okay, let me go to town, let me go run my errands. I run my errands, and me being the girlfriend that I am, I'm like, you know what? Let me go and surprise my man. Let me go hit my man with some tada. I'm here, you know. So I run my errands in town and then I go to his place. Now, let me just explain what his place is like, right? When you get to the gate, there's one big gate and both visitors and the um, residents enter through this one big gate, right? There's no security or anything like that. Next to the big gate, there's a pedestrian gate, right? And at the gate, there's like a dialer where you can dial this number and it rings in the intercom in the house, right? Now... From the gate, if you're standing at the small gate by the intercom, looking straight ahead, you can see his door. So it was a block of flats, so the, most of the houses were on this side. His house was like right at the corner. So straight in line with the gate, right? So when you're at the gate, you could see his door. And when he's at the door, he can see you at the gate, right? And what he usually um, did was that every time someone would buzz at the house, he would first open the door to check who it is and then sort of without talking to them over the phone. So he'd answer the phone and open the door and check and then open for you, right? So that day, Emilo, ya buzz at the gate. When I buzz at the gate, I'm waiting, right? And I'm, I'm actually waiting for him to come to the door and see me and be like, oh, surprised. Shapu, <laughs> When the call is answered, is it not a woman answering the call? And I'm like, okay. So, okay, when she answers the call, she does the same thing that, she, that he usually does and opens the door. So not only am I hearing that it's a woman, she opens the door and I see her and she sees me. Hello. <laughs> and we ask what's a shock sometimes. <laughs> shock, shock works in a funny way because... Under normal, circumstances, under normal circumstances, I would just be like, who are you? And she'd ask me, who are you? And I'd be like, I'm this person, open, I'm here to see Usman Ban. But on that day, I don't know, it's shocking. It's a freezer. Ming freezer, and she asked me, um, hi, who are you and who are you looking for? And I'm just like, you know what, I think I dialed the wrong number. And she's like, no, who are you looking for? And I'm like, Sisi, Ngiti, it's the wrong number. Sisi, how can you as the guy is listening to the girl, who am I looking for and who am I? The guy comes nigh at the door behind the lady. Topless. Topless. Whilst I'm so shocked by all of this, I'm like, okay, girl, guy naked. Okay, clearly these people are together. Like, clearly. And Lomonto Lok should maybe Ushalala or she's here for a while or I don't know what the, the situation is. But then I'm just like, guys, let me just go. This is just not worth it. It's not worth my energy. I was here to surprise this person and now I'm surprised. I drop the intercom and I start walking. Mind you, a couple of meters from his house is exactly where the taxis pass by me. So I walk and I'm walking fast because of the anger. I'm so angry. I'm pacing. And in my mind, I'm thinking, what if this girl follows me and she wants to find out who I am? Not that I'm scared or anything like that, but I, like, I was just in shock. Shabu, I take a taxi. I go back home. The guy, no call, no explanation, nothing. Nami, I don't call him. I'm just like, fuck him. Like, I'm through. Shapu, that was Thursday, right? Friday comes. Friday, guy is calling me. And I'm just like, yeah. And he's like, no, I'm around um, your hometown. Can I come see you? I'm like, see me why? Like, where's the girl that you were with two days ago? Has she left now? Now you want to come see me? No, I'll come and explain and all that. I say, okay, come. I guy comes. I guy may figure. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, in fact, you don't even have to explain what's going on. I can see, but like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, well, 
and the guy's like no let me explain this is my baby mama and 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 i'm like okay what is she doing at your place and like you said you're gonna be home chilling and now you're home chilling with her and clearly since you didn't call me yesterday to explain all of this you were with her from thursday up until today jobusola and he's like no uh this thing with this baby mama is so complicated one thing guys will lie guys will lie yo no it's complicated da, 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 da. he tries to explain but i was just like not having it and we basically ended up breaking up because clearly he was still with his baby mama you know and i'm just like yo yo this guy we sorted out an issue with the girl a couple of what what ago now i'm in the same situation where lasting on chabula because i'm the girlfriend now now baby mom and leon gane leo leon gane is young that child is within a relationship with that child right it's not like a child that's a year old or kajanka understand that in the name of so okay i'm gonna find out how to look at your boyfriend that's how that they like i was i came with some tada and he was like tada dada <laughs> what's how that they got me now what's how that they got me now i was the one that got tadad so yeah that is my story time guys i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and the moral of the story is don't go and tada people don't hit people with surprises, child, because you will be surprised. Minanga surprise ega and DJ till today. Getting DJ, no more tadas. I don't do tadas. I announce myself before I arrive because I'm funeking, I'm funing mistake. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.